It's Gern TV. Hello, mga katropa. Welcome to my channel, Gern TV. Sa video natin ngayon, tatalakayin natin ang isang section ng Book of Enoch na tinatawag na The Astronomical Book. Ito yung section na ine-explain kung papaano gumagalaw ang mga tinatawag na mga luminaries of the heaven, ang kanilang mga panahon at ayon sa kanilang buwan or months. Ang lahat ng ito ay isinulat ni Inok sa kanyang libro ayon sa explanation ni Archangel Uriel na inutusan ni Bathala na ipaliwanag kay Inok ang mga batas ni Bathala tungkol sa mga luminaries. Umpisahan na natin. The Book of Enoch, the Astronomical Book. The Book of the Courses of the Luminaries of the Heaven. The Relations of Each, According to Their Classes. Their Dominion and Their Seasons, According to Their Names and Places of Origin. And According to Their Months which Uriel, the Holy Angel, who was with me. Who as their guide, showed men and me all their laws exactly as they are. And how it is with regard to all the years of the world and unto eternity. Till the new creation is accomplished which endures till eternity. And this is the first law of the luminaries. The luminary, the sun, has its rising in the eastern portals of the heaven, and its setting in the western portals of the heaven. And I saw six portals in which the sun rises, and six portals in which the sun sets. And the moon rises and sets in these portals, and the leaders of the stars and those whom they lead, six in the east and six in the west, and all following each other in accurately corresponding order. Also many windows to the right and left of these portals. And first there goes forth the great luminary named the sun, and his circumference is like the circumference of the heaven, and he is quite filled with illuminating and heating fire. The chariot on which he ascends, the wind drives, and the sun goes down from the heaven and returns through the north in order to reach the east, and is so guided that he comes to the appropriate portal and shines in the face of the heaven. So, post muna tayo sa mga scriptures at uh, reviewin muna natin sandali kung ano ba ang sinabi ni Uriel kay Enoch. Sa unang portion wherein sabi ni Enoch 
nakita niya yung sinasabi ni Archangel Uriel na anim na portals sa east, sa east at anim na portals sa west. Yung mga portals sa east, doon lumalabas ang araw at yung anim na portals sa west, doon naman pumapasok ang araw. At doon sa mga portals na yon sumusunod na ang iba-ibang mga luminaries uh, of the heaven and all that. Let's continue. In this way he rises in the first month in the great portal which is the fourth, and in that fourth portal from which the sun rises in the first month are twelve window openings, from which proceed a flame when they are opened in their season. When the sun rises in the heaven, he comes forth through that fourth portal thirty mornings in succession, and sets accurately in the fourth portal in the west of the heaven. And during this period the day becomes daily longer and night nightly shorter to the thirtieth morning. On that day the day is longer than the night by a ninth part, and the day amounts exactly to ten parts and the night to eight parts. And the sun rises from that fourth portal and sets in the fourth and returns to the fifth portal of the east, thirty mornings, and rises from it and sets in the fifth portal. And then the day becomes longer by two parts and amounts to eleven parts, and the night becomes shorter and amounts to seven parts. And it returns to the east and enters into the sixth portal, and rises and sets in the sixth portal one and thirty mornings on account of its sign. On that day, the day becomes longer than the night, and the day becomes double the night, and the day becomes twelve parts and the night is shortened and becomes six parts. And the sun mounts up to make the day shorter and the night longer, and the sun returns to the east and enters into the sixth portal and rises from it and sets thirty mornings. And when thirty mornings are accomplished, the day decreases by exactly one part, and becomes eleven parts, and the night seven. And the sun goes forth from that sixth portal in the west, and goes to the east and rises in the fifth portal for thirty mornings, and sets in the west again in the fifth western portal. On that day the day decreases by two parts, and amounts to ten parts, and the night to eight parts. And the sun goes forth from that fifth portal and sets in the fifth portal of the west, and rises in the fourth portal for one and thirty mornings on account of its sign, and sets in the west. On that day the day is equalized with the night, and becomes, of equal length, and the night amounts to nine parts, and the day to nine parts. And the sun rises from that portal and sets in the west, and returns to the east and rises thirty mornings in the third portal and sets in the west in the third portal. And on that day the night becomes longer than the day, and night becomes longer than night, and day shorter than day till the thirtieth morning, and the night amounts exactly to ten parts and the day to eight parts. And the sun rises from that third portal and sets in the third portal in the west and returns to the east, and for thirty mornings rises in the second portal in the east, and in like manner sets in the second portal in the west of the heaven. And on that day the night amounts to eleven parts and the day to seven parts. And the sun rises on that day from that second portal and sets in the west in the second portal, and returns to the east into the first portal for one and thirty mornings, and sets in the first portal in the west of the heaven. And on that day the night becomes longer and amounts to the double of the day, and the night amounts exactly to twelve parts and the day to six.
and the Sun has therewith traversed the divisions of his orbit and turns again on those divisions of his orbit, and enters that portal thirty mornings and sets also in the west opposite to it. And on that night has the night decreased in length by a ninth part, and the night has become eleven parts and the day seven parts. And the sun has returned and entered into the second portal in the east, and returns on those his divisions of his orbit for thirty mornings, rising and setting. And on that day the night decreases in length, and the night amounts to ten parts and the day to eight. And on that day the sun rises from that portal, and sets in the west, and returns to the east, and rises in the third portal for one and thirty mornings, and sets in the west of the heaven. On that day the night decreases and amounts to nine parts, and the day to nine parts. And the night is equal to the day and the year is exactly as to its days 364. And the length of the day and of the night, and the shortness of the day and of the night arise. Through the course of the sun these distinctions are made. So it comes that its course becomes daily longer and its course nightly shorter. And this is the law and the course of the sun and his return as often as he returns sixty times and rises. The great luminary which is named the sun, forever and ever. And that which thus rises is the great luminary, and is so named according to its appearance. According as Yahuwah commanded. As he rises, so he sets and decreases not, and rests not, but runs day and night. And his light is sevenfold brighter than that of the moon but as regard size they are both equal. And so, yan po ang nakasulat sa Book of First Enoch, ang patungkol sa pagsikat at paglubog ng araw sa bawat taon, forever and ever. Sa susunod, na video, ibe-breakdown natin itong section na ito ng Astronomical Book ni Inok. Abangan nyo na lang mga katropa. Later! forget to click on the notification bell. Thank you again for watching. Please support our channel by liking, subscribing now. It's free. Yeah, mga katropa, hanggang dito na lang. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you!